Well, let me tell you something. This last round of this fight between Sinisa Superbad Estrada and Yocasta Valle, Valle, however you pronounce it, apologies, is the reason why I think that women's boxing needs three minute rounds. This girl, Superbad, don't get me wrong, she's a special generational talent. Pound for pound. 105, 112, maybe what, 105, 108, maybe even 115. But she got her bell rung multiple times in that last round. Like, big time. However, she clearly won the fight, dominated the fight, actually. I don't want to say dominated. She won. She won. It's just that uh, Valle came on a little bit too late. It's a rematch that I would want to see again. Not right away, I don't think, obviously. Um, I think the Marlon Esparza rematch for Valle, I mean, excuse me, for uh, Estrada is the way to go. And I was thinking to myself as I was watching this fight, I'm wondering if, um, by the way, here's the punch stats, power punches. A lot of those power punches came in the last round for Valle. Pretty similar uh, statistics. That, that cut, by the way, was from a headbutt earlier in the fight. So I was wondering, uh, can she touch 118 pounds? I wonder if that's too big for her because up there is where you know, like things start getting interesting because in those lower divisions, let's be honest, they're not really any real well-known names. Um, 97, 93, what uh, Mark Kriegel has it. Uh, this is the co-feature to Oscar Valdez versus Liam Wilson, which is up next. <laughs> Excuse me, a teacher controversy with 5 3 60 by the way. Raymond Mar Maritalo, oh wait, let's turn it up. Listen in, shh. In favor of Sinisa Estrada, only one person has seen the scorecard. His name is Mark Chinook. Ladies, by age, just started too late. Gentlemen, here inside Way too late. Diamond Arena, big round of applause for these two incredible warriors going the distance. After ten rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for the official decision. Steve Morrow. Dennis O'Connell and Robin Taylor all scored about 97-93. Yeah, that's right to for me. For your winner by unanimous decision. And now the undisputed minimum weight champion of the world. From East Los Angeles, California. By most. Look at her, that girl's good. Mark like, she's Donnie. good, good, good. We're going to listen to uh, what she wants next. First, um, undisputed champion at 105. She is bar none the best. Let me know uh, down below in the comments who you want to see her fight next. But I think the Marlon Esparza rematch is the way to go. Um, and to become try to become undisputed in the uh, next division, which is uh, 108. No, excuse me, 112. Wait, this took place at 108? What, what, what weight was this? This was 105. Okay. Okay, so it's 105. Marlon is at 112, so who was 108? I'm confusing myself. I'm gonna listen to the post-fight interviews, by the way. We're waiting, so wait, what am I doing here? You gotta go down to the lie, there we go. Oh, this is why I skipped this, oh, let's listen in, hold up. What a boom. Beyond overwhelmed and, and happy. What was the difference in this fight? Um, the difference in this fight, um, I mean, I knew she was going to come in and be aggressive like she always is, but I knew that my style and everything that I was going to do to take away from what she does best, and that's exactly what I did tonight. Took away her right hand. Are what, they booing? You took away her right hand. At what point did you feel that right hand wasn't going to be the difference tonight? You know, I started kind of kind of late because it's been eight months since I've been out of the ring, so I did feel the rust a little bit, but I knew I would take away that right hand with my defense and my footwork. Hey, listen, this fight was deeply personal to you. 
with Gloria, with Golden Boy. Do you still feel like that? Is it, does it go away with all these, geez, all these belts you got? You know, or is it still there? I'm just, I'm very competitive and I want to be the best, you know. In this training camp, it was, there was days where it was difficult for me to get up and go to the gym because my body was hurting, my back was hurting, my hand was hurting, but I'm a champion and that's what I do. I, I, I push through it because I want to be great. Listen, it was a spirited battle. It, it, it certainly was a close fight, but what do you have to say? What do you think of your Castavaya in your heart now? I mean, I've always thought that she's a tough, a tough, a tough woman, you know? She goes into every fight and she gives it her all. But I'm not those opponents that she's faced. I'm super bad. There's a difference. Congratulations. You really are a trailblazer. What did Estrada do to Arizona? Why are they booing her like that? Is there something else that happened that I'm not uh, catching? Yo Costa. Yo Costa. Okay. Where are we going to go here? All right. Did you feel that the decision was just? No, la gente la que decide. Eso es lo que me queda satisfecha. Gracias Latinoamérica. Gracias a todos por apoyarme. Eso es lo que me mantiene más satisfecha. No, the people decided that, and the people have shown, and that's what maintains me satisfied. Thank you to everyone. Thank you to all the people. That makes, maintains me satisfied. Gloria told me she thought the headbutt was intentional early on. Do you feel that way? Sí, ella lo hizo intencional. Sentí cuando ella me dio el cabezazo en el primer round. She does have a lot of headbutts in her fights, Estrada. I don't think it's on an intentional, though. She do got old noggin on her. It was intentional. I felt that she did that coming towards me in the first round, but I had to struggle through that for the rest of the nine rounds. Gloria, this has been cast as a deeply personal fight in some respects between you and Sinisa. Yeah, she trained her. How do you her. feel about Sinisa right now, and who do you think won the fight? First of all, I'm a professional. I'm a trainer. I love my fighters. If she took it that way, that's, it's okay. She lost in the ring. She lost tonight. She no, lost she her people. She lost her TV. She lost half of her fans. She's not a professional person. She headbutted us intentionally. We want to run it back. We want to run it back. Whoa. It was the rematch. Don't be afraid. Do you think she'll do that? I doubt it. I doubt it. She had no defense today. She had no footwork. All, all respect, Gloria. I had her winning the fight by about four or five rounds, and I, I thought I was pretty down the middle. It's a ten. It's a ten-round fight. She lost four. She won four rounds. What happened to the other six? Gloria, thank you very much. Your cost. Thank you very much. Um, Admiration to both of you, Bernardo. Uh, the blood is bad. So that woman, I forgot her name, but she had trained uh, uh, Estrada, from my understanding. So I don't understand how y'all think uh, uh, Valley won the fight. You know, I didn't see it. I didn't see it that way. But as I said, I would like to see a rematch, though. There's uh, Oscar Valdez looking forward to this. If he loses to Liam Wilson tonight, it's because he beat himself. Um, you know, like, like, what was that all about? I didn't really watch the follow up to this fight or the uh, build up. So clearly there was some bad blood going on. But yeah, I think that this is the way to go if she can get up to 112. Oh, because when you look at the. Uh, what is it? Which one is it? The light fly division. Uh, who am I supposed to be looking out for here? Please tell me because this is the next division. She's already under speed in her division. You know, that's already the best of the best that she fought in her division. So. Who's here that like you really want to see her? Me personally, I think that the Sparza rematch, especially since you know um, uh, uh, Golden Boy and Top Rank are working together, I think that's the way to go. But then you know if she can start getting up to uh, I mean, that's too far. Why am I trying to send this? But see, it's women's boxing. I wouldn't do this in, in in men's boxing where I can say you know what maybe she should move up to one eighteen. You know, fight Dina Thorslin or somebody. You know. But I don't know. I don't know. You know, she's a small girl, five foot two. You know, you got a, uh, she and Metcalf, Nina Hughes, Ebony Bridges. Ebony Bridges, she, she done lost her, her luster. Jamie Mitchell. Just to name a few. But let me know. Take your time out. Like the video, subscribe, and T-Street Controversy with 5 View, 5 View 360.